Hello boys and girls, Pinwheel Polly here for another segment of Crafting with Pinwheel Polly. This time I have my friend Amanda from Craft It joining us and we're going to be doing a super fun project, one that's my favorite. If Can you guess what it is? We're making pinwheels. So welcome Amanda. Thanks Polly. Tell us a little bit more about what you do with Crafted and then we can talk about the supplies of the project. Sure. Um, so Crafted is a little store that used to be an Indian Trail and now it's moved to downtown Monroe here in North Carolina and at Crafted we have parties and we have classes um, to learn how to make crafts. So if you want to have a birthday party or you want to bring a couple of your friends down we do um, we do, we, we do cricket crafts, we do sewing, we do, um, let's see, we make things, we use alcohol ink, so <clears throat> it's, a, it's a fun little space to do a party and to bring your friends and to learn something new. That's super fun. I would love to have a birthday party there. It's fun. <laughs> yes, and can any, do you have to make an appointment or do you, can anyone just drop in? You do actually need to make an appointment now because of everything going on. So if you go to www.craftitnc.com, there is a scheduler right there for you. Wonderful. And social media? Can they yep. follow you on same social thing, media? Same thing. Same um, thing. Craft It NC um, on Facebook and Instagram. Wonderful. And then how did you get started with Craft It? Has arts and craft always been your passion? It's really, it's always been something that I do for fun for myself. Um, so I'm a professor and um, of English, actually, not even crafting. Um, I teach books, basically, but um, crafting is something I always did because I like it. And so I just thought it would be a lot of fun to do with other people, too. So that's how I started doing it. That's amazing. So if you live in Monroe or Indian Trail or Charlotte, because it's a short drive away, make sure to drop in craft it at their new location and do some arts and crafts because right now I know summer is starting we're still you know being safe and summer camps aren't open yet so if you need activities schedule some time at craft it tell your parents they can you know drop you off they can have a little rest while you're busy in the store making your crafts and then you can gift something to them so let's let's get started with our project tell me more about making pinwheels and what we'll need okay sure so this is the pinwheel that we're going to be making today. <clears throat> if we were outside and the wind blew, it would definitely spin around. Um, and so it's actually very simple. It's very easy to make. Um, you need these supplies here. So you need sort of thicker paper, not the kind that you put in your printer. This is cardstock. <clears throat> and then you need these. These are called brads. There's like a little button on top, and they have these sort of legs that come out, and they bend. So you need brads. <clears throat> and then you need these beads. They're a little bit bigger. They're a little bit bigger and they are what go inside the brad. They're called pony beads. Um, you can get them at Michael's, Dollar Tree, anywhere. They're, they're pretty simple and they come in really fun colors. Then you need um, a pen, a hole puncher, a ruler, scissors, and a straw. So most of you probably have all this stuff at your house anyway, and which is really good actually because it'll give you some time to make pinwheels. Um, <clears throat> and so I got the kind of paper that I got, I actually got it at Target, um, which is mm -hmm. great because everyone's near Target and your mom will really want to go. <laughs> so the paper I have is um, one side's a color and the other side's a different color, so that Ooh. makes it really fun. Super yeah. fun, 3D effect. Yeah. Wonderful, and like you said, all of this can be found at Target or your other favorite store that... Oh, just around your house. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anything around your house. Mm -hmm. That works. Wonderful. Well, what's your favorite color? Well, my favorite color I already did is pink, but I kind of like this green. The green is fun. Yeah. What color would you like, Polly? I think I'm going to do the, the blue, Ooh, like pretty. the aqua blue. All right. Let me just move that. There you go. Perfect. And then, so this is nice cardstock. <clears throat> it's it's a bit thicker, yeah. Um, the thinner paper won't work just because it'll bend all over the place, and when the wind blows, it'll just fall apart, and that'll make you sad. And then these are also pretty sturdy straws. Mm -hmm. Will any straw work? Like if if you, I like to use the the bendy straws. The bendy straws those probably won't work. They're too bendable. They're too thin. <laughs> yeah. These actually. Um, these come 
I think I got, I got these at my local coffee shop from my friend who owns the coffee shop. Her name is Kathy. Um, and she um, let, nicely gave me these. Um, I don't know where you can buy them, but I'm pretty sure if you go to your favorite coffee shop, she'll give you some straws too. Yeah. And they're, they're all pretty, they're pretty, they're, they're pretty strong. They're <laughs> very strong. Yeah. So Sounds now good. we know we need a strong straw. We need a strong straw, yes. You Perfect. do. Say that fast. Okay. So if you guys are ready, um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how it's done first. And then we're going to make another one. Um, so if you want to follow along, just watch this one. Then you can go and make yours while we're making our second one. OK? All right, so first thing you're going to do is make a triangle. So you want to take one corner and fold it down, well, away from you, rather. And you want to press that really good and hard. Really press it down to make a crease. There we there you go. go. Then you're going to take that cr that point that you just made and bring it to the opposite side, and again press it down really hard to make a crease. Okay. And now you have a little house or an arrow or a rocket ship or a rocket you have ship. Have this shape here. <laughs> All right, so now what you're going to do is use your scissors and you're going to cut this bottom piece off because you don't need it anymore. So all you're going to do is cut that off to make a nice, neat triangle. And that you don't need. There we go. And for those of you who are new to working with cardstock like I am, it will take some patience because it is thicker, so it requires a little bit more patience as you complete your um, fold, the, your folds. Right. Okay, so now you have this triangle shape, and you want to open it and sort of bend it back so you have a nice, neat crease. See how I have a crease? Okay. That is a cross or an X. Have that bend too. it back. All right. Now we're going to take our ruler. And we're going to measure from the middle. I'm actually going to make a dot in the middle so you can see. We're going to measure from the middle out to each of the corners. So here I have a dot in the middle. And I'm going to take my ruler and put the ruler on the zero on the dot. <clears throat> so I'm going to measure from the zero out to the corner. And I have six inches. So what you want to do is a little bit of math, and you have to um, get the middle. So zero to six inches, we need three inches, because that's six divided by two, which is half. But we're going to add half an inch toward the middle. And I'll explain why in just a minute. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go three, and then half an inch. We're going to like add half an inch. So it's actually two and a half. So on every crease, I'm going to remember that it's two and a half from the middle. And I go two and a half, and then two and a half. And these are inches, right? Yes. Perfect. Two and a half inches. Two and a half. OK. And then Polly can show you. Wonderful. So starting in the center, I made my, my dot as you shared. And I'm going to start at zero all the way to the end, and I'm at six inches as well. So to find the middle, we're going to divide six by two. And that gives me three, and then the other half an inch closer to the dot puts me at two and a half, just like you, Amanda. Good. So then I go from a circle, two and a half. And if you're still learning how to use a ruler and how to divide, you can always ask your parents, your brother, sister, or use a handy dandy calculator. Because we all have those on our phones now, or our iPads. Ta-da! Okay. All my dots. <clears throat> so all our dots are there. What we're going to do now is cut to from the corner to the line. Not any further. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's cut. Let's do it. Perfect. 
And what's your favorite thing to make when you're crafting? Hmm, I really like sewing. I made my apron. Oh, that's and beautiful. And then I used the Cricut to put my name on the apron. So oh. that's actually with a different machine. So I sewed it with my sewing machine and then I put my name on it with my Cricut. That's awesome. So I really like sewing. It's my favorite thing. But, um, <clears throat> but actually, kind of, I like everything. I like making everything. Okay, so now we have our cuts. All right, so what we're going to do now is use the um, hole puncher. So you want to use your hole puncher rather than poking it with um, a pin. Some people poke it with pins, and I just think that it's easier to use this. What we're going to do is punch a hole in to the right of where we cut. So you see how each of these is open? We're going to punch a hole through the one on the right. When you punch your hole, <clears throat> you want to be careful because if you punch it too far to the corner, um, it won't work. So you want to punch it kind of in the middle, as close to the corner as you can without punching through it. So you want to make a hole without making a hole that comes off the paper because then it won't catch. Okay? So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put my, put my hole puncher there. Okay. Do you see how when I punched it, it still stayed on the paper? That's what you want to do, because otherwise it'll tear and it won't oh, spin. Yeah. All right, so I did it to the right, and then I'm going to do it again to the right. And then do it again to the right. And then do it last time to the right. And then you try, Polly. Thank you. So I'll do the same. You're doing it to the left. To the <laughs> left. There you go. That's on the right. Okay. There you go. There we go. This time, I'm not. Do you know how to tell you right from left? I always hold my hands up, and the one that makes an owl is the left. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. It works. <laughs> it does. It works. Oh, yes. I'm very visual. Even when I travel from Pingwell Forest, I have to look at the map to see where I'm turning. Okay, so we've done our holes. Now we are going to punch, um, we're going to use our pens and the, <clears throat> where we put our circle here, we're just going to take our pen and we're going to push through it so that we have a little hole, not a big hole, a little hole. So I'm just going to take my pen and put my thumb down there, sort of, well my finger, and just poke through it, but not too hard because you don't want to stick yourself. Do that. Did it. Okay. So now we are almost ready to put it together. The first thing we have to do though is take our straw and poke a hole through our straw. So you flatten it out like this and then you're going to take your hole puncher and just like the, um, the hole punches in here, you don't want to get to the side because then it won't, it won't work. And how close to the top should we do? Should we leave uh, a little bit of space? I would say leave half an inch. A little half bit. An inch. Yeah, a little bit there. Perfect. A little bit. And you just punch a hole. And there's my hole. There we go. And then now do that. You got it? That works. That works. <laughs> Barely on there, but it's there. All right, so now <clears throat> you're going to take your brad. And what we're going to do is come up from the bottom, OK, up from the bottom. And we're going to do that each to each of the holes. You're going to come behind, you're going to come behind, and they're going to come behind. Oh, there we go. I'll show you one more time because that Oops. was actually a little bit tricky. <laughs> it is tricky. All right, so you All take right. your brad. And you come up behind one of the holes, and then each of the other arms you're going to put underneath, underneath, like All that, right. underneath. Okay? Got mine. All right. Got mine. And got it. Got it. Now you're going to poke your brad through the hole you made in the middle. Just poke it through and hold on to it. Don't let it go because it'll go flying if you let it go. Mine already flew. I did. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now you take your bead, your pony bead, mm -hmm. 
and you're going to put that behind, still holding on to it, okay? And then you're going to put it onto your straw like this, and then you want to open it just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. You want to open it like that. Uh, I opened it too much. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta -da! And they should spin. My, my, and you might need to close And if it's outside, oh! <laughs> and that's okay if that happens to you. That happens to me way too often. And then you can just work with your bread. And maybe you'll just have to really bend the tippy tips. I know, I wish it blew. Oh, there we go. It spins. And when there's really <laughs> strong wind. But you know what? Honestly, outside they spin really fast. They do. I had them outside the other day in my pinwheel forest because I have a little garden too. And it was spinning really, really fast, which is great. <laughs> That's so Yay. fun. All right, so now we're each going to make one more. And you can do it with us. If you have everything in front of you, you can go ahead and follow along and see if um, you can keep up. Okay. Let's right. do it. So I'm going to do um, a blue one. No, I'll, you're going to do. I'll do yellow. You'll do a time. yellow one. Okay. There you go. Thank you. And I will do this purple and pink one. All right. Perfect. So let me hear the steps again. We're going to fold down the corner to make a triangle. Yep. And really press it down so that it makes a nice neat crease. Because remember, the cardstock is a little bit thinner or thicker than your other paper. Perfect. And then you take that corner and fold it towards the other side there. And again, push it down really hard until you have a house or a rocket or an arrow. So you're like, I'm with her kind of thing. Okay, now you want to cut off that bottom strip because you don't need it with your scissors. <clears throat> And then open up your triangle and sort of bend it back to make those nice, neat creases. Like that. Okay. Now you want to take your pin and mark a hole in the center. And in fact, since you're already doing that, you might want to just spread your fingers there and poke your hole through since we don't have to, so we won't have to yeah. do it later. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You got it. That's how it is. Okay, All right. did it. Now, we're going to use our ruler from the zero and measure out. So we're going to measure out and we're going to do half the distance between the center and the corner. So in mine it's a sixth. I'm going to do half the distance, which is three, and then I'm going to add half an inch towards. So really I'm at two and a half. All right. Two and a half. And you want to do that on each of your corners so that they're equal. There you go. Wonderful. So from the zero inch line to the edge, I'm also at six inches. So three minus point half an inch is 2.5. 2.5. Two point five. Perfect. Okay. So now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut from the corner to that little mark you made. Okay, so now we made our cut. And now we're going to use the hole puncher. And remember, try and get it in the middle and not touching the sides because if you touch the sides, it'll go flying, it won't work. Okay, so hole puncher right in the middle like that to the right of your cut. So this is to my, the right of my cut every time. <clears throat> and to the right. Here you are, Polly. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. To the right. To the right. 
and the other right. Wonderful. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to take our brad and we're going to go up underneath, remember, up underneath like that. And then each of the next arms with the holes in them are going to go under your brad. So underneath and then underneath and then underneath. And then, since you're already there, poke it through the hole in the middle, like that. You got it. Got it. Good. Now don't let go. Grab your bead and put it on the brad. And then for this time, do we open the brad while we do we the straw? <gasps> we yep. didn't do a straw. But we can just open the brad, right? So you it'll can. keep it. And it'll then we'll it. clip our straw. Perfect. That's a good point. I like how she, uh, I like how she thinks. That's good. Arts and crafts. All right, so you flatten that straw down and you poke your hole. Well, really, we should have done that before we did the other holes, but it's okay. That's okay. All right. Oops. Right in the middle. Okay. That's that works. So, go ahead and open it back up, now and you're just going to pull it through that hole, and then move the brad aside so that it's, hold, it's held on there, and then you should have your pinwheel. <laughs> oh, this one spins much better than my last one. Oh, good. Good. All right, so now, of course, I have to tell you, if you want to, you know, kick it up a notch, you can always take this paper and put glitter on it, or color it, or do drawings, or um, anything you want to do with the paper, because the paper is what will make it fancy. Ooh, glitter. I don't know if your mom will let you use glitter, but glitter makes everything better. It does. <laughs> Super fun. It does. Well, thank you so much for being here, Amanda, and You're for very welcome. teaching us how to make pinwheels, my favorite. So make sure to share a picture if you make it at home with us. That way we can see the great creations. And again, visit Amanda. If you're local to the Charlotte area or Monroe, visit her at Craft It at her new location. Have just a blast this summer. So thank you. I also should oh, mention, yes. actually, at Craft It, there is, <clears throat> there is not just Craft It, but we have a little gift shop in the same area. And Ooh. so we do, there, there are things for mom to go and see as well. Um, there's the store called The Faded Rose and it's right outside. And so um, while you and I are doing the craft, your mom can have a look at all the other neat things that are there. Yeah, so both of you and your whole family can have fun. Mm -hmm, definitely. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Join us again for our next segment of Crafting with Penguin Polly in June. And then coming in July is music and dancing. So stay tuned and follow us every week on Wednesdays. Bye. Bye. Bye.